Hello, and welcome to the British Columbia Real Estate Association's Housing Market Update for April 2013. A total of 5,660 homes traded hands through the multiple listing service last month. While home sales were down nearly 18% compared to a year ago, unit sales in March did tick higher by 6.6% compared to February on a seasonally adjusted basis. This was the largest month-to-month -month percentage gain in sales since January of 2011. However, despite March's apparent surge, home sales per capita in the province remain near a cyclical low. The longer consumers take a wait-and-see approach to the market, the more likely pent-up demand is welling up in the marketplace overall. The province remains in buyer's market territory, meaning that the playing field is tilted in favor of home buyers, but there are regional variations. For example, for the Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver area, their sales to active listings ratio reflected nearly balanced conditions last month, and the Home Price Index posted its second consecutive month of gains after several months of decline. The average home price statistics climbed noticeably last month, contributing to the third year in a row where the average prices in the province spiked higher during the first quarter. Further analysis indicates that detached home sales in Vancouver increased relative to all other home sales during these periods, which accounts for the upward skew of prices during that time. Despite these fluctuations in the average price data, the typical price of a home in Vancouver has seen little change over the first quarter. Local markets can vary significantly, so contact your local realtor to identify market conditions in your community. Now let's take a look at market conditions around the province. Well, that's it for this month's housing market update. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.